So guys, in this video, I want to talk about the Apple Watch, more specifically how you can disable and turn off the notifications for workouts. That means that when you're pretty much starting a workout, your Apple Watch is going to remind you that, oh, looks like you're running or something. Or when you stop working out, it can tell you that you, it looks like you stopped running or stopped walking or whatever. There are also audible progress announcements. I'm going to show you exactly all of that. First of all, you, what you have to do is to take the iPhone that is paired to your Apple Watch and navigate to the watch application. So of course, you know what it looks like, the black one watch app. Now you can see here is a section of all the apps and all the stuff. So when it comes to activity notifications, you can go right here at the first section is notifications, tap on it. And here are like general information and general notification stuff. Here you have all the apps, but you don't have the workout in here. What you do have is activity. When it comes to activity, you can turn off a special challenges, activity sharing notifications, goal completions, daily coaching, and a stand reminders. So these are all of the notifications which happen throughout the day. It's the regular stuff which uh, on your Apple Watch you get the pop-up that looks like you've been sitting for a whole time, just stand up and walk around. So for that you can disable the stand reminders. For daily coaching it means that it's going to tell you that you can still do it, just keep on walking for 25 minutes and you can close your calories goal. This is what you can enable in here. Goal completions when you finish or close the circles you're going to be notified about that special challenges you know like you have on like some December challenge or whatever for a month and stuff and this is also for sharing so when you are in a, a, like a group or you share your your progress with other people you're gonna be notified when they're close their goals and stuff so this is what you can enable and disable in here however coming back to the watch app if you scroll down to the bottom in here you can find the workout app and here is the section for the actual app tap on it and here are all of the things which you can disable and enable but the reminders are probably the most important so start workout reminder and end workout reminder so this is the setting which I talked about briefly in the beginning. Whenever you start um, like running, you don't turn on the workout manually on the Apple Watch, but it's going to detect that it looks like you're running and it's going to let you know, it's going to give you the reminder that perhaps you want to turn on the workout program, the running. So that's what it's supposed to do. When you disable it, it's not going to notify you about anything and you will only be able to start workout manually. The same thing is for end workout. When you are in the middle of a workout session and that means you are running, jogging, doing any kind of exercise, if you just stop moving, your Apple Watch is going to like sense the lower heart rate and it's going to think that you apparently stopped working out. In that case, your Apple Watch is going to tell you that, hey, perhaps you stopped working out. Don't you want to turn off the workout uh, session? So. Uh, this is a reminder which you can also disable and it's no longer going to apply to you. It's no longer going to happen. Detect the gym equipment is also really useful. This allows the Apple Watch to sense the type of workout that you do. So for example, you go to the, the uh, rowing machine and based on your movement, based on the movement of the Apple Watch, your heart rate, it's going to detect that you're using special gym equipment. So it can also notify you about very specific uh, workouts using this. And also there is the voice feedback. So you can see that Siri can read your workout alerts to you. So if you have your AirPods in your ears in a gym or something, then even a Siri can read to your ears, your progress and the stuff that's going on. So that would be about it. This is how it works. And these were all the settings that you can enable and disabled to turn off Apple Watch exercise notifications. It's really simple. It's not really complicated at all, but this is just how it works. So hope the video helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to Fox Tech and also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.